Howdy, y'all. So if you're just now joining us, we're following the fallout of the Adams County prison scandal. This is one turd that's about to surface. Following the release of my videos detailing the fraud at the prison, there's been a flurry of publications quoting our county commissioners posting denials directed to my videos. Now, I have to admit, I've been keeping a secret from you guys. Huh? I'm... Yes? Educated. Ha 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 nerd! I knew it! And I'm schooled in the ancient art of analysis. Whoa, mega nerd. So let me walk you through political misspeak to expose intent by analyzing actions and inactions. By the power of analysis! Okay, so to put things in perspective, let me start you off with an email to all of the county commissioners. Detailing how this wounded warrior was stabbed by a repeat offender and our district attorney Brian Sinnott conspired to exonerate my assailant in an Epstein-style sweetheart deal. Their response? So let's compare that response to each of their denials of scandal at Adams County Prison. In this Gettysburg Times article from over a year ago, County Commissioner Marty Qualley recognizes that overtime spending is out of control, but is optimistic our prison staff are up to the challenge. <laughs> Guess where that optimism got you, Marty man? Ooh, political kidney shot. Well, you can optimize in one hand. Don't say it. And shit in the other. By the power of analysis! What are you left with? Thanks, Leo. That's not all that bad. All that means is Commissioner Qualley has no frame of reality of what's going on at the prison at all. But he's ineffective! But he's elected! So let's move on to our next commissioner, Randy Feel. Randy Feel ignored a veteran with a hole in his arm, but took the time to sit down with Fred Snyder in the Gettysburg Times in response to my videos. He defends the current administration with the utmost confidence, despite direct quotes from departed personnel blaming the current administration. He then goes on to cherry-pick statistics about how our prison is only 5% suckier than most to work at. So let's apply our ancient art to this statement. By the power of analysis! If turnover rates are only 5% higher, then why did we spend $100,000 in overtime just in June alone? But to be fair to misquoting politicians, you have to take into account accounting misspeak. Whereas in May, the prison saved $21,000 by only coming in at $55,000 in overtime. By the power of analysis! No bullshit. Yep. That's dog shit, Randy boy. Moving on to our last commissioner, Jim Martin. Jim is probably the most culpable in the prison scandal, as he's been chair of the Adams County Prison Board for years. Under his leadership, we've had three wardens cycle through in two years. By the power of analysis! What's the national turnover rate on wardens? And how come none of them have been explained? And how come Warden Giglio left right after my false incarcerations when I was receiving correspondence from the IG? While Jim is adamant about ignoring a veteran with a HOLE IN HIS ARM, he takes two hours to sit down with Vanessa Pellicchio and explain away his own shortcomings as prison chair. <laughs> that was a short joke. He says he feels targeted by a recent article exposing truths about the prison. Well, Jimbo, I'm sorry you feel targeted. <laughs> by the big scary news article. But I was targeted and FUCKING STABBED! Wow. So if we measure the county commissioner's response in private to a wounded warrior getting stabbed in relation to the public denial of scandal at Adams County Prison By the power of analysis! What have they got to hide? And why do they really not want a federal investigator down here? Would you just let me go? Get out of my house, get out of my house, get out of my house. Okay. Get out that's right now. Go. No, that's you not all I had to say. I had to pull out my phone. Go. Out. You're Go. Yeah, you're fucking trespassing. I told you not to come in. I told